What's up guys, welcome to another YouTube video, and today I am playing Bone Lab with Ford. And this is about how many punches does it take for each of these enemies. Uh, Ford, Nobody, or Early Exit, or, or Early Exit Zombie. Whichever one takes the most hits wins. So first we're going to start off with Ford, the one we all know and love. I think that was three. Um, I didn't count or do these yet, so this is the first one. So that was 10, hey. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 6. Nobody took 7, Ford took 10. Now the early exit zombie is really strong. So 10, 7, see how much it takes. to kill a corrupted Ford, 10 punches to kill a Ford, and 7 punches to kill nobody. So the one that won this contest was the corrupted Ford. So it's actually called Early Exit Zombie, but I call it Corrupted Ford. And also, yo guys, please don't get mad at me for this, but I kind of ship fast and uh, Ford. The fast avatar and forward, I ship them together. I don't know why, okay? Just they they just seem good perfect together, right? So just don't judge me. And yeah, like and subscribe. Oh, what Rylan? Really I was gonna do the skeleton instead, but I didn't have it. I don't know where to find it. So let me know down in the comments down below where to find the skeleton in Bone Lab. Some of y'all might not know because some of y'all may not know what Bone Lab even is. For some of y'all that don't know what it is, it's a physical um, sandbox VR game. It's the best game in VR. It's... Other than Gorilla Tag. Gorilla Tag garbage. Absolute garbage. Oh. And Ford... No, no, not Ford, sorry. Bone Lab is the best uh, VR game out there, in my opinion. Blade and Sorcery is the second one. Gorilla Tag should be the fourth one. And Hellsweeper... No, Stride is the third one. And four actually is Hell Sweeper, and five is uh, Grill Tag. So yeah, like and subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss another YouTube video, and bye.